Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Supreme Jerk difficulty episode 11. We're still clocking only two death uh, so far, which I think is a good achievement. One every five episodes. Maybe I can keep it low. So, I'm pretty sure that this here is going to go sideways. There is no two ways about it. Which brings me to the question, how do we want to deal uh, with all of these guys? How about uh, Ramos and Murphy stay behind? Central is, um, we could push through here. Sure, why not? Good, so Central, Lucia and Quan all try to push through here. And Hogbite is going to be the poor smock that is going to talk to Mr. Smiles. It doesn't take a genius to assume that this here is going to go sideways. This man is tearing the teeth from a corpse on a dentist chair in front of him. He turns to you with a maniac grin, revealing a face covered in blood and a clown makeup. Bienvenidos to Dr. Smiles' orthodontic practice. Think of me as your friendly dental dilettante, a cultivator of cuspids. Do you have an appointment for full teeth extraction service? Only the cuspids? What about the other teeth? Ah, oh, delightful! A fellow connoisseur! Don't fret, cuspids are my favorite, but I'll gladly take all your teeth. Now, you have an appointment, yes? <laughs> no, you do have an appointment with death. Yeah, we made it under the name. Go fuck yourself. Okay, we're attacking them. No, no, your team will be mine. You want to brawl? Knock yourselves out. Good, because I learned something. First strike, super important in this game. You don't want to wait until they get the chance to do anything. All right, Payeso bastard. Uh, let's start getting him very nicely down secondly central rallies the troop everybody gets some extra AP which allows Ramos here to continue getting this guy down to 200 hit points <clears throat> before then shifting that over fantastic Murphy good Murphy Dr. Smiles, no, Trickster, you know what, why not, it's over. marking him, there's a 30% chance that Murphy will kill, might as well, nope, have healed the clone by the way I'm too low on hit points at the moment trickster takes a headshot very nice we're then following up with a trick shot and that follows up with another headshot Okay, we can't get through here. That is interesting. Not exactly what I was expecting. If Quan moves in, he is in full cover, but there are a lot of targets that uh, will reach out to him. Quan is better advised to just go to here. <clears throat> 
take down this guy and we don't have any robot to hack and unfortunately just barely too far away for our pistol listen someone will move through here so we're just going to keep this one occupied prepare an ambush if someone comes in and we'll do exactly the same with central so I'm assuming that trickster will move in hmm hope it would stand in the open I don't like that I much rather will go here and defend Okay, we have a proper shootout. What? Medical dart for 128? What is going on? All right, all of the enemies. By the way, that waste wolf is absolutely phenomenal. Really good. Clone is also dealing some decent amount of damage, so can't really complain there. And for some reason, Murphy's using his shotgun more often than anything else. That should be a kill. Oh, come on, really? That would hit the clone yet again. Can't, can't do that. Starting to get the trickster down. Ramos did very well. Marshal Kwon. Gets one down. And sure. Let's start over here. Missing the AP, I think we're just going to reload. Alright, Lucia, what are we going to do with you? <clears throat> Trick shots are not really working out well. I think we're just going to take this guy apart one by one then moving into full cover to make it more difficult for him to burn both of us and take one action uh, over okay uh, hog bite One hit, two, three. And... We would be flanked from three angles. Here we would be only flanked from one. Oh, but continues to move over here. And... Uh, should have, I'm sure if you used the liquor earlier, much earlier, but okay, 
Let's drink it now. Better than never. Better now than never. Positioned him at the only position where it really wasn't beneficial for us. So, instead, we're switching, I think, Flame Tank into Explosion. It isn't bad. Unfortunately, that means we're burning as well. Shit happens. Hitting for almost the entire health bar. Despite being demoralized. Okay, these guys are a little bit higher in level. Alright, Quan revives Ramos. And then heals himself. Before effectively moving over here. That's a good idea. Ramos uses the uh, few hit, uh, few AP that he has to fully heal himself. Okay, well, Dr. Smiles, you asked for it. Seventy points of damage. Uh -huh. It's okay. There we go, it's Thundering Strike. He has a debuff. I don't know exactly what type of debuff, but it looks good. Smile still has an unfortunate amount of hit points. Moving to here to get that very nice angle. Tried. Great. Sandra moves over here. Slows him, unleashes a storm of bullets. Are you kidding me? Hundred to zero. First aid station for the enemies. Well, fantastic. Let's hope they don't take that. One revives Hogbite. And follows up with a proper healing. Before then moving into the open.
Ogbite continues to just hit the message home. <clears throat> Didn't fully work. Lucia, I think is in a unique position here. If we hit Smiles, we can hit his hat. Uh, that was a chance for crit. Smiles down to a hundred. Central moves up. Four HP. We only have one shot. We only have one shot. Might as well begin to heal ourselves with a mad pack. Murphy over here. Seven hit points, really? Okay, uh, we theoretically need to reload, but that's 4 AP. Good, we still got two goons going. That first aid station automatically heals. Oh my lord. Well, that even further encourages any form of focus fire. This guy over here is an absolute beast with his weapon. Good. Mark this guy because there are so many advantages of doing that and then single shot One more down. Wait, the first shot after reloading is free. So might as well reload, because that is a free shot for 2 AP. Very good. And we're hitting the arms. Fantastic, that guy is crippled. Quan just tries to get out of there. That would be cool, but unfortunately deals way too much damage to our own units. Good, we need to reload.
Sandra moves up. Headshot. He's now blinded. Back to the normal gun. And my idea of not using uh, energy weapons so often has completely backfired. But on the other hand, I haven't used a turret, which I think we could have. Lucia, one, two, and that finishes the fight, right? Right? Juan heals himself. I can't believe that we uh, that the game forces us uh, to fight against that first aid station. Good. Listen, end of turn. Harder fight than expected, but I already knew that it was uh, coming up. Like, if someone that crazy sits on a dentist chair, you can bet your sweet little rear that that is going to end up in a horrible fight. All right, clone will be healed. <clears throat> and we got a few injuries. Nothing here. Okay, cool. Well, well, well. We got an upgrade for Hogbite. Two, four, five. Cool, that's one more action point. And we're finally getting level 9 in melee combat, which is where we're going to leave it for the time being. Attacking the same target twice in a row uh, with a bladed weapon executes a free attack. More combat speed. If you move more than three spaces, your next bladed weapon attack has a higher chance of critical damage. I like that. And that isn't bad either. Animal companions provide you with better passive bonuses. Hmm. That or the higher critical chance. It feels that the critical chance is more important, but what's his bonus that he's currently having? Sneak attack. Yeah, I think then the critical chance at the moment is better. Maybe other animals are providing better or different bonuses. Item we got a dental pick level 14 bladed weapon okay and a level 25 
Camtech Helmet. Armor, healing bonus and resist. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a good one. Ammunition. Lots of junk. Med pack. And a med dart. That med dart looks interesting. Usable items. Quan, what does a medical dart do? That's cool. Quick slot item, but I think we need more quick slot items with Quan. And in terms of armor, I think it goes without saying that this helmet here looks a bit like Optimus Prime, but is a very good helmet. Healing, uh, healing bonus. And we got a nice bladed weapon. Love it. Good, if we can modify that. Weapon modding. Oh, we need more weapon modding. Okay, sure. Okay, I, I would assume that Hogbite is all of a sudden going to have a huge spike in the amount of damage that he's dealing. Because this weapon is absolutely ludicrous. Lock picking 7. Yeah, we are in an area that seems to be a bit too high for what we're supposed to do. Okay, cross boom, level 14 assault rifle, uh, uses crossbow bolts, and there are 20 crossbow bolts. Okay, wait, that's actually quite good. You do have your assault rifle here, you're just using assault rifles as a backup and already have a better one. Quan, my dude, I, I think uh, you might have gotten yourself a big fat crossbow bolt. A big fat crossbow bolt. I like it. Okay, well, look, the way I see it, this weapon is going to be very, very good. Ammo capacity 1, so he needs to reload. Hmm. That would be great in the hands of someone who gets a free shot after reloading. Hmm. Unfortunately, no one of our assault rifle guys has it, but that's a great item overall. Can we now craft bolts? Oh yeah, we can. If and when needed, we're going to craft them. For now, we're okay. That's a good weapon. Four nerd stuff. Um, that's a quick slot item. Throw to infect uh, shock to anyone in the affected area. Also dealing 10% con damage and minus 2 AP for one turn. That's really good. EMP grenade. Level 10 machine gun. 50 cal ammunition. I think that's what we need. And a good armor.
So, you are telling me that we got ourselves a heavy MG. Oh yeah. And that is running off for of 50 cal, which we, I think, do have plenty of. I think we do. Well, congratulations then. We got weapon upgrades all around. On top of which we get a lot of junk and some ammunition. Wow, that was so so good. Potentially the single best. Potentially the single uh, best loot that we've gotten in a while. And this here is the bizarre entry pass. <laughs> okay. Mission critical item acquired. We haven't even finished looking around. There are still a couple more item uh, areas to go. Might be somebody in that greenhouse. Interesting. Okay, at least we're closing the loop on that one. Computer display reads greenhouse uh, pesticide control ready. Do you want to flood it with pesticide gas? Um, no, for now. I think that would have been good if uh, and before we killed all of these manually. This game is riddled with uh, people uh, with uh, just incredibly heartwarming stories. It's an unforgiving world and Wasteland uh, really plays accurately into the title. It is very much a wasteland. So we've been up here. But we somehow couldn't really get entrance. One last time checking it before we move over the bridge. There's an entrance here, but somehow the game does not allow us to get into it. Can't hit either of uh, these things in order to go by. That's unfortunate. You know, let's test one thing. Oh, we don't have 50 cal ammunition. Well, we gotta change that.
Oh, wow, this machine gun will be very expensive to fire. I think we're sticking with our normal machine gun for now. But what I wanted to test... Nope. I thought since the gorilla was frozen, you know, maybe it was one of those situations where you really wanted to unfreeze it. I guess I was wrong. Good. Last thing that we wanted to do is check out the bridge. We're rangers, we're deputized by the Patriarch to go wherever, where the fuck we want. Now cut the bullshit and identify Five. yourself. The name's Stenera. In case the Patriarch hasn't noticed, there's hundreds of refugees who are desperate to get into his city. So desperate they'll pay me everything they have. Okay, we found our uh, no, culprits. I'm particular quarrel with you, but I'm not stopping, and I'm not negotiating. So if you come any closer, this is a firefight. Stenner right out. Okay. Listen, I think what we're going to do this time is we're going to visit the bazaar. Heads up, Bendejos. Just got word there's another caravan from Sealtown coming in next week. That's the second one this month. You sure it's legit? Chitarado. Our boy sees all and knows all. We're going to explore the uh, bazaar this time, and we're going to go and fight uh, these slave traders the next time. Listen up, masters. The next son of a bitch who says we're losing this war gets strung up by his nuts. You hear me? You approach the uh, trailer, uh, and speak, and bolt it into a. Uh, it, and it crackles the to life. Stands at the door. <laughs> what sacrifice do they bring to the door of monsters? I want to get into uh, the bazaar. <laughs> the lamb speak. <sighs> you know what? You asked me a straight question. Let's forget about the lamb nonsense. The bazaar lies beneath. Covered by decades of snow. The only way in is through the gate beneath this RV. The only people who can open this gate, we, the Monster Army. If you want to get in here, you need to do one of two things. Buy an entrance pass, or get an established bazaar merchant to vouch for you. Well, we do so have an do? entrance pass. I should probably ask how you got that, but honestly, I don't really care. They don't pay me enough. I tell you, if you got a pass, that's good enough for me. Right. In you come. Behave yourselves, my little lambs. All right. Let's travel to that new area. Gate for one second, and that fucking pig bolted by me. Uh, 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 don't worry, folks. Uh, the bazaar is secure. Uh, move along, everyone. Ah, new visitors. 
Don't fret. Come and hear about the marvels of the bazaar. Simon the Squatch, a man wearing the same outfit as the guards outside, a wolf mask and a letterman jacket. He's come closer, you notice the outfit looks a little bit old and worn, patched up many times through the years. Fresh lambs, esteemed guests. The door guard informed me you were coming. You are most welcome to all the delicacies and pleasures the bazaar has on offer, provided you have the coin. Uh, I hope you're not shaken by this disturbance. It is a minor matter, I assure you. Your shopping experience should be nothing short of completely safe. We're exploring the outside and ran into an encampment of bandits dressed as clowns. Really? Dressed as clowns, you say? That sounds like Los Payasos. But there's no way those crazy fucks are out here. Uh I suggest you talk to Flab about this. You can find him in the back, up the stairs. Could you tell us the about the facilities? The bazaar, unlike any other piglets. You want it, we have it. No meat is too exotic. No luxury is too fantastic. If you can afford them, they're yours. Cladatorial death matches. <laughs> Uh, perhaps in our older days, that chapter of the Monster Army book is closed. Uh, sorry. Thanks, Enjoy we'll look around. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, is this a ginormous place? No. Seems moderate. Guns sanctified. So he is sanctified Pichetelli. Um, Heartbeats that I don't recognize. Come closer, strangers. Certainly. So, brawling weapons. We don't need that. All the weapons can be sold as well. One of the flamethrowers can certainly go. And we do have decent amount of uh, money now. How expensive are bullets? So energy cells, like what would it cost? Well, it's quite expensive. Damn it, ammunition is expensive, man. Wow. This converts an entire weapon into fire damage. Ooh, that is pretty damn good. I like it. Big fat rocket launcher. Plasma grenade. Plasma grenades? Oh, look at the damage. Holy. EMP grenade. Cryo uh, grenade. Ooh, yeah. Lots of weapon mods. Candy land, guys. But we're not going to spend money on it. Tactical nuke. Uh, I think that's an actual tactical nuke. Holy. Gas grenade. Smoke grenade. Okay, recipes. We could uh, buy that as well. A couple of shotgun shells. 50 cal ammo, how much would that cost? 50 of that would cost 500. Hmm. That's not too bad because they are difficult uh, to craft. Tell you what, we're buying 50, that's 500, because that will give us a huge benefit by allowing us to use our uh, weapon our submachine heavy gun machine gun rifle. I can't decide assault rifle no question 
Not that the bazaar. I suggest you, you speak the to Black. Yeah, oh, you are yeah, 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 in my theater. Visit sometime. Come, come to Adalon. Adalon, this woman is says shockingly purple hair, ridiculous voluptuous form, make her stand out from the average waist and she looks like she's dropped from a different time and place. March hey Simpson. There, Eidolon. You look better every time I see you. Ah, Marshal Kwan. As charming as ever. And you brought your most beautiful friends to Adalon's Chick Flicks Theater, I see. Aren't you all a sight for sore eyes? Do you show movies here? Movies? Oh no, sweet. Ah, sugar plums. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, I'm so happy you walked into mine. What can we do to ah, help you? My heroes. So here's the rub. The Chicks Flicks Theater shows only the finest, most exclusive performances. But we are running low on material. Uh huh. I'd ask if you were volunteering to be my next star, but we all know I couldn't afford your gorgeous asses. I suppose the next best thing would be getting me some fresh material. There's pain wolf, right? In any currency you want, baby. Monetary and otherwise. Well, only Kwong is using the otherwise. Where would we get fresh material? I know where to find some old movie reels? We've got good tech in here. So between some creative editing and a little bit of improvisation, I can produce our next masterpiece. Where do we find these movie reels? Oh, so it's easy as a slice of apple pie. The Monster Army used to live in a pre-war luxury bunker. The bunker has been abandoned for years and years. So it should be simple. And hey, I know any resistance you meet won't be a problem for such beautiful and powerful people. Good luck. Come back again. Soon. Good. What is that? Uh, nightmare in Bazaar? Okay, so level 7. That is sort of okay for us, but we got some other stuff. To do we first of all need to confront the human smugglers and I think then we also got the uh, Sund uh, that is running uh, around and someone is terrorizing the monster army and the inhabitants of the bazaar okay fair enough so I assume these guys here are just staring at ass and titties. I hear they call him Flab the Inhaler. <laughs> Can you believe that? I suggest you speak to Flab. You want to get your ass kicked? Talk to our hot noodles. Paradolia Jones, as you approach, this man's eyes fit over every member in your team, assembling whether or not they are the direct threat. He relaxes a moment, touches the brim of his head with a slight Howdy, nod. ma'am. Howdy. Always good to see a Wesson. Just my services as a caravan master. I organize caravans to get people, goods, and livestock from one place to another. But I don't sell goods myself. These lands near Colorado Springs are pretty safe. But still lots of people need help getting around. Thanks. I could tell you more, but go along. Okay, so we got a caravan master here. It's good to know. Might come in handy some other time what's the perfect food noodles how many do we have oodles who should have some Wait. my friends you saw that explosion too horrible such a waste of good pork and human life of course but don't worry masato is here to offer aid and succor have you seen anything this delicious I don't know. Uh, yeah, yes, that looks amazing. Yes. Be my guest. After enjoying this bowl, know that my store is open to you. I have a variety of goods that you may find useful. A man who never eats pork is never a whole man. <laughs> but I have to tell you, my okay. friends, these noodles are a pale imitation of the real thing. 
Ah, you picked up on my subtle hints. Years ago, a friend in Colorado Springs gave me a package of instant ramen noodles that he had found in the Warrens. And the Warrens aren't safe. I can't venture down there. But you must understand. Oh, how you have my interest for sure. But as I explained to you, I'm here for a reason. Bring me the ramen noodles and I'll gladly join you at your HQ. Alright, so this guy would join us for a few ramen noodles, is that what you're saying? Good, there is a lot of 20% healing. Nah, we don't need that. Mm -mm, we're good. So, we got some ramen noodle side mission. Gotta take your priorities when the world is at stake. We're, I suppose, going to find pre-war ramen noodles. So you can re-reverse the magic re recipes, access to find uh, the noodles, might be able to be found in the bazaar. Okay. What's the bartender's hey, pals. problem here? Name. If you need a drink between you and me, I've been partaking in some taste tests. Not much. If you're here to work for Flab, then he might be able to Flab the inhaler. Not much. I'm pretty new. Uh, I don't Good. Know. Nothing important I here. The finest drinks on earth. And he got alcohol, which again we don't need right now. Alfredo Garcia. That guy's called Long John. He doesn't even have any legs anymore. Uh, for all it uh, might be swelled and dirty, mismatched fabric, this figure clearly is anything but human as you approach. Uh, it straightens with a creak of a rusted gears and presses palm to the Nixon mask over as his I face. More of my fellow humans in the bizarre. Fellow humans? Tell us about yourself. Gosh, an apple pies. You put me in a spot. Let's see. My name is Long John, and I'm old as dirt. I've traveled a little, but nowhere interesting. Now I'm here in the bazaar, just to see what life has to offer. Make friends. Was it something that I got to do when I was younger, what with my job and all? There was no time to make friends, none at all. But I'm making up for it. I know everyone in the bazaar, and they know me. I'll tell you youngins what I can. Despite the fact I'm old as the mountains, figuratively speaking, that is. Humans rarely live past 70, and I'm just about ready to expire. <laughs> I don't know everything, you hear? Even though I walked all the way from Denver to Steel Town and back again. Wow. What can you tell us about Steel Town? That place is an industrial nightmare. Raging fires all around. Melts right through the st 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 skin. Gives me the shivers, you hear? So, best of luck to you. Good. I think we have found another synth if we were ever to hunt these guys. Not that the bazaar is not perfectly safe, but. Oh, wow. Are you rangers? I haven't seen any of you guys since I left, uh, I mean, in a while. Are you here to fight the mo uh, I'm Quarex, by the way. This is my cool museum of, uh, coolness. <laughs> cool museum Would of, like uh, coolness? <coughs> sure, really? give us one. Uh, okay, this way. Uh, okay, I'll start. Yes, Welcome I'm to Quarex's cabinet of curiosities. The weapon is a mega uh, scope. No, no, we're leaving the case alone. I'm not going to steal anything here. Okay, there is a VA. That's interesting. Computer. Massive throne. This is the most. 
Ah, we don't have enough nerd stuff. Shame somebody stuck it on that silly old ray gun, but I'm not going to try to take it off. I might break it. Made it past Telluride today. Found a guy there who sold me some rat jerky. There's a caravan heading for Boulder, and I'm going to try to tag along. Colorado's cold and kind of scary, but there's treasure here, too. That guy with the rat jerky, he had like six or seven 3DO cartridges just lying around his shack. When I asked him how much for the set, he looked at me like I was crazy. Practically gave them away. You know what? Leaving Arizona might be the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, come on. Do, the, do your run through a little bit faster, dude. We'd all be dead by now. These are the most classic of classic arcade games. Avenue Brawlers. Tracking. I love those boots. Where'd you get that? These old things. Wonder yeah, if I can get these 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 perfect. Perfect. Ah, you look like toughs. That's why I'm here. Nice. What do we have? Level 10 helmets? Oh, wow. Level 10 tactical armor. That's not bad either. But unfortunately, these things are too expensive. Tank armor. Hmm, that would be a lot of money just to spend on armor, but. Yep, armor not bad. Where'd you get them? These are perfect. Hi, Rangers. Good to see you again. Sure. You, anyway, not me. Oh, well, kind of cool you guys have heard of me. Nobody knows about me. It's great. There's okay, Good. I'm Anything so else that we could get out of this? Stuff behind. Even the 3DO. Oh, I did. I'm supposed to say my name's Dave. Hi, Rangers. Thanks for visiting. Hi, Rangers. Good to see you again. Oh, okay. Could we set to the entire uh, tour? I even yeah, got a achievement day. from it. Unbelievable. So far, I'm not seeing a lot of uh, differences. What do you mean? Ah, pig, human, <laughs> your call. Oh, used to be the vet. Uh, anyway, got a bit of a pickle of late. Ah, the self-medicating sort. Sure, take a look. Ultra morphine. I uh, used to restore con uh, for three turns, but in uh, but suffer internal bleeding. Okay. Ah, you again. What is it? Yeah. So this here would uh, get us all the way down to where exactly? That's the Warrens. Okay, that's where the pick was coming from. So we got one more uh, thing to explore here. I think we're cutting it short then because it's larger than I would have anticipated. Who knew, right? Good, Flap, what's your story? Let's never mind with the act, shall we? Rangers, I am so sorry you had to witness that horrible exploding pig. Truth is, you do not find us at the best of times. What is with the Dracula act? All right. Well, can it be so calm with exploding pigs? I must be friends. So is the burden of leadership. But you are right. This place is under assault. Oh, really? Something, someone, some horrible unknown thing. 
is roaming the warrens below us. People have been disappearing. Not to mention the pigs loaded with explosives running amok. You are the Patriarch's Rangers, yes? If he trusts you, so can I. Nothing we've done has helped. So your arrival could not be more fortuitous. If we had part to six, we could get more. It's been two weeks, uh, maybe three. Not long at all. At first, we thought it might have been the fanciful imaginings of the <laughs> chemically influenced. But then a pig appeared out of nowhere, outside the bazaar. People have been disappearing ever since, and more pigs keep appearing. I need my mashers to keep the place safe. We need outside help. Your help. We'll go down and find I who's behind it. You'd say that. You rangers are true generous. When we were outside, we ran into raiders dressed as clowns. Dressed as clowns? I see everything makes sense now. The makeup of the pigs. The horrible deaths. That explains who is behind these attacks. What are you talking about? They are one of the wild gangs that escaped the Patriarch's control. I've not had to deal with them in decades. But last I did, they raided one of our caravans didn't even take most of the supplies. They seem to think it was just a funny joke to kill our men. If it is Los Payasos down there, we truly need your help. They would not hesitate to kill every living thing in my home. In the most unsteady bazaar, we'll be waiting. All right, so we got ourselves a job here. A nightmare in the bazaar. Uh, we'll get us uh, $666, which would be a lot of money for us at the moment. Absolute ginormous amount. And we got another uh, quest down there, which is finding that true ramen noodle so two for one is going to happen the next time but uh, the emphasis there is on the next time uh, gentlemen uh, i will conclude today's uh, session thanks for watching if uh, you could send an exploding pick towards that like button let me know how hard it exploded there that would be great see you in the next episode Bye bye